Last week, I was finally able to share my Birkin unboxing. Yes, it was a very, very, very long journey that finally materialized. So now that I finally got my beautiful quota bag, and those of you who haven't seen it yet, what are you waiting for? Just go back and watch my previous video. I showed her in all her details and glory and try on. I am so so happy and it was definitely worth the wait for sure. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about my updated wish list for the foreseeable future. So maybe for the remainder of this year, the next six, seven, eight months, I don't know. Uh, like a realistic wish list that I can achieve. Also, I kind of wanted to just do my tag again because I feel like that can be related to the subject. Obviously, back then I did it based on the collection I had at the time. So now I'm gonna do it based on the collection I have right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. Today's video sponsor is none other than Lily Silk. Let me share with you some of the newest pieces that I've gotten. And also they're doing their anniversary promotion. The first item that I have to rave about and I love, love, love so much is this beautiful striped shirt. Oversized, very flowy shirt. As you can see, it is slightly long and it has a lot of flow and great body. It's hemmed beautifully at the bottom. It has this curved design. I love this kind of shirt for the summer because in the summer, it's super hot. You want to be wearing your tank tops, your dresses. But once you get inside and there's a ton of AC and sometimes it gets really, really cold indoors, then you need something to cover up and this is literally the best, best, best piece for that. And not only that, this shirt can look so casual, can look so put together, and it tucks well into pants. It's just the most versatile piece ever, and I love the striped details. Um, it's just the most classic. This silk material is literally the best, most flowy and wrinkle resistant material. I love it. It comes in two colors. I actually own the plain version from before already, but this is probably my new favorite because it's so cool. It's so cute. I love, I love how it drapes. So I've kind of been just wearing it, you know, like, like, you know, my casual self. They now come beautifully packaged in these gorgeous boxes. It comes with the ribbon, all the packaging. It's quite nice. Um, you get, you get all the documentation explaining about the beautiful silk materials and how to care for it. So in here, I've got a couple of accessories. So we have, I'm already wearing one. So I'm wearing the white version. I highly recommend these little accessories if you just want to try out this, their silk material, which trust me, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So these are their beautiful hair ties. And these are super cute because they've got extra little crystal details throughout and it comes in a set of five in a set of ten or you can buy individually i think so when you buy the set of five you get these colors pink navy black this taupe color and white which is so lovely i've been storing my hair ties in my basia coin purse which i've said a long time that i don't know what to use this for because i don't use coins anymore so now i have my hair ties my um this is my clippa which is super old but it's a very trusty bag hanger which i always have around with me now and i also have an extra alcohol wipe so all of this even if you were to put this size one because they're so thin right it's literally just silk it fits. It's so great. I love that. And now I'm actually using my Bastia all the time. They've also sent me this cute bucket hat. And what I like about it is that it's reversible. So you've got the plain side and you've also got the, um, the side with more motif. And it's made of silk, of course. So with the plain side, it looks like this. I don't want to ruin my cute ponytail but this one is definitely a lot deeper than my chanel ones but this is great for when it's super sunny and maybe to take it on vacation i think it only comes in one size so i love the fact that even with my ponytail i can still wear it it still fits <laughs> how cute is this right and also when the sun is really strong you can literally just 
shield your whole face <laughs> protect that beautiful skin of yours aside from this shirt i also got this beautiful beautiful pants literally the most flowy and beautiful beautifully cut and uh, beautifully fitted pants that i own at this point uh, this one has a little slit detail here it's also wrinkle resistant um, however when you first get it in the box obviously you will need to steam it but after that just hang it and it will keep really really nice for a long time so this beautiful pair of pants not only went super well with this shirt it will go with any kinds of shirts actually um, I will mention sizing as well so this one I got it in a size it says here 27 but anyway I'll link it below so I went by their size chart which is pretty accurate I would say so all the shirts I always stick in an extra small that's what fits me uh, for the pants I wanted to make sure that it fits my waist but I also like it with a bit of give so that I can eat I'll just need to cinch it in a little bit uh, so technically I could probably take the size down but I like my pants to be not super tight because I don't want it to tug here I prefer it when they are a little looser where I can just wear a belt so this is so so gorgeous they come in two different colors I went with black for now but I now want the white version as well it's just the most gorgeous and it's the perfect length for me I'm 5'4 by the way um, if you're a bit taller, then it'll show a bit of ankle. My friend here, Mel in Melbourne, her collaboration with Lily Silk is so gorgeous. Her designs are just so beautiful. I had to get more colors. So this is already a shirt that I own in their other color. I own it in the dark blue color, the navy color. And I had to get it in white, obviously. I love white, so I had to get the most default boring color, if you want to call it. But it's so pretty i love the lace design on this i love the color detail optional silk scarf that you can wear or just take off the lace detail oh my gosh it's just out of this world so pretty this will be good for all year round again and just so great for all occasions for work uh, super well put together super pretty super elegant this pairs well with literally anything jeans uh, the pair of silk pants I showed you earlier or if you can't get enough of her skirts as well So I've got another color of her skirt Her collaboration. So I've already got the black one last time and I love Love this is my favorite pleated skirt. So I wear it all the time I've been wearing it to the weddings with my Chanel silk top So I wanted another color because I was like I keep wearing the black one so much I had to get it in the silver as well and Oh my gosh, I highly recommend it. Um, again, I will link everything that I've shown here down below. And of course, you saw how it looks on me. Uh, all the shirts, I always take an extra small. This one, I also take it in the smallest size, which I think the smallest size is a size 2, which um, it's, it's slightly, it's not loose, but it's slightly just like, you know, how the elastic is not super tight, which I love. I don't mind because I, I belt it anyway. I love adding a Chanel belt to all of these looks. I will have all the pieces linked down below along with my sizing. You can use my coupon code to save 12% at checkout. I also have a second coupon, which is amyc25. Buy one, get one at 25% off. I'm the biggest fan of silk materials. They are breathable, they are thin, easy to travel with, easy to take care. Um, they are antimicrobial, they're good for your hair, for your skin, all of that. It's got so many good properties. I literally put these in the washing machine in the most delicate cycle, obviously, and then air dry. And I've always had no problems whatsoever with any of my Lily Silk items. So my tag video, which I created, I think it was last year, uh, which of course, if you haven't done it and you are on YouTube, please do it and tag me. I would love to watch it. So it's called Five Forever Handbags and Five to Sacrifice. And I created that tag at the time when I just started my Hermes journey. And I was thinking in my head, I was like, oh, I know there's going to be a lot of spending involved. I know I'm gonna have to, you know, rearrange my collection somehow. It's a good time to sort of like really think about your collection, see what's really been not used, and you'd rather get back that money to 
to spend on your ultimate ultimate wish list. It could it could be a bag. It could be a trip, it could be anything, right? So obviously for me, it was to get my beautiful Virgin. So based on my current collection, obviously my five forever bags has to include my newest Birkin 25. That's pretty self-explanatory. That's like my favorite bag at the moment. It also has to include my classic flap in the gray color in the small size, caviar from 21A. One of my favorite favorite bags absolutely absolutely happy that i was able to get that on my birthday last year and let's just cheat and apply all of the the classic flops that i own right all the mini flops in addition to those i felt like i had to keep a 19 bag because the 19 chanel bag for me is the most beautiful casual and easy going bag ever i have worn that in the rain not that i recommend it please don't do it but like you know i've got caught in the rain and all that and it's worn fine i love the vibe of that bag and sometimes you just don't want the serious bag sometimes you just want a less structured bag you want a bag that um has more flexibility and just a grungier style now i'm left with two choices right this year i felt very very strongly about my lady dior in the mini size because i've been wearing that bag for all the weddings that i've attended and i cannot see myself not owning this bag at least from my current collections point of view because that is literally the only bag that fits an occasion such as a wedding um, I don't feel like any of my other bags fits that criteria. It's kind of my event bag and it's also the most classic of shape for that um, for that kind of function that I have in my life, which is not often, but I only have the one Lady Dior, so I feel very, very strongly about that one, so I had to include that. And so my last choice, uh, I had to juggle between all the other ones that I love too, but this is just a tag video, it's just for fun, but we have to choose one and that would be my Picotin 18 touch because it's such a lovely and um, unusual combination with the touch alligator and the Clemence leather. It's a beautiful, um, it's such a beautiful understated and affordable Hermes bag that I could not not have that one in my collection. I know it's such a hard tag to do, but if I had to choose my top five to keep forever, right now at this point those would be it okay now what to sacrifice Ooh, that always kind of can create some controversy or just like mm, people getting really upset about it worst comes to shove you have to do something about it and also um you have to do what's right for you the first item that might be on the chopping block it's probably gonna be my chanel flap in the denim fabric why because i have not even worn it once i just said earlier that i will keep all my classic flaps which this is the same style and functionality as a classic flap yes but the color combination the fact that it's a blue color i don't mind wearing blue bags for work by the way i have a beautiful longchamp blue tote which i always carry and i also have the beautiful murda ray bag which is in blue color but to dress up and to wear a blue bag that is just not me i don't know what i don't know why anyway so that's pretty much the first one that i thought was gonna be on the chopping block my second choice would be to get rid of some of my micro bags as you all know i love my mini bags and i love my micro bags 95 percent of my collection are mini bags or very 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 small tiny bags therefore i thought it would be a good time to let go of a couple of micro bags so possibly lv possibly chanel oh my gosh i i'm so scared anyway let's move on and then we're left with some more serious serious bag contenders to to sacrifice and i'll just say it okay i'll just say it coco handle trendy cc and possibly even my <sighs> my Prada crystal bag and I know it's crazy right but just like I said in my first video when I did my tag initially if I'm serious about curating my collection and I have a goal then I also have to be very serious and and just do what's right for me so uh, when it comes to bags that are still very popular and in demand that is probably the best time to let them go so Coco Hando, Trendy CC those bags are pretty much permanent classics as well 
and although they are not called classic flaps, they are still very, very classic shapes. They are always popular. And then with the Prada Crystal Bag, even though that one is maybe a bit more trendy, but it's still so, so popular right now. Prada wouldn't be doing so many different colors of the Crystal Bag if it wasn't popular. So I think it would be the best time to let them go strategically. Now, having said that, my most updated wish list now will of course include a Kelly. That would be the most obvious, obvious of choice. I feel like that is something that I can work towards in the next little while now that I have a Birkin already. And I'm still tossing, right? I'm still tossing between Kelly 25. Um, I'll most likely go with Cellier because I have a Retourne style already in the Birkin, so I want a Cellier style. But I also really, really like the Mini Kelly, and I know it's another micro bag. Oh my gosh, Amy, what are you doing? But that's the thing. I almost see myself using micro bags just as often as my regular size bags. Plus, with the Kelly Mini, which is very, very small, yes, it still fits a phone, especially now that I have a Mini 13 phone. It fits in literally all of my bag, literally. Except for that one. That one is still doesn't fit any phones. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, oh, Amy has just like left the bandwagon. She's all about Hermes now. She doesn't care about the rest of her collection. Look at what she's getting rid of, right? No, 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 no. I still love my Chanel. I will always be a Chanel girl. I will always be shopping my Chanel. Whether that is bags, accessories, ready to wear, I will always, always have my eye on something, right? So of course my wishes had to include another Chanel bag, which is the only one that I still don't have in my collection is the top handle mini flap. I like that it's a square or rectangular shape. Um, it just makes placing things in it easier and I still haven't gotten one so I really still need to try it if it still doesn't work well with my lifestyle which I doubt it then yeah then then I'll decide what to do in the in the future plus I really really love lambskin now not to say that I don't like caviar I think caviar is great as well probably I like both 50 50 now I just love both as well with the lambskin I like it when there's a top handle where I can carry it. I love the feel of it. I also love that it wears better over time, with wear and tear that is. You can buff it, um, and obviously if you get it in a dark color, then it's pretty safe in my opinion. That is my immediate wish list that I think is super reasonable for me to work on for the next, I don't know, six. To eight months I would say hopefully I can achieve it that soon okay, I hope that you enjoyed my little chit chat and of course don't forget to check out Lily Silk thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel and you like this content give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel you can also support me further by becoming a channel member where you get more exclusive live stream content if you want to support me even further you can also buy me a coffee I'll have all the links down below thank you so much have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon bye Thank you.